Hello everyone, welcome to Wandering Art. So today I'm going to tell you guys how I made these orange sliced resin coasters. So this tray here is just a silicone baking tray. It was like a cake pan. I got it from a Michael store, but you can buy them all over the place. And then the paint here is the gilding paint that I used for the edges of these coasters. It's premium gilding paint. It is Craft Smart brand and I just painted it on with a little paintbrush. And I wouldn't use your favorite paintbrush because it can ruin a paintbrush. If you even if you wash it right away, it's very hard to get off. Now, these coasters, the edges are not perfectly smooth, and that is because I think I used a little bit too much heat in between the layers. So I did have to sand those before I painted them and they're still a little rough in some areas but I don't really think that it takes away from the coaster because it kind of reminds me of an orange there when you peel them they're always kind of rough. So I love these. I love how they turned out even though the edges were not perfectly smooth. And there is two layers of resin. I didn't want the orange to float up so I did a very thin layer and put the orange in with the gold leaf and then I did a clear layer on top. So here are the oranges after they have been dried and I'm going to tell you guys how I dried them but there are also written instructions in the description. So I cut the orange slices and you want to make sure that they're very very thin because you know they have to be in the mold and completely covered. So you want to slice your orange very very thin, set the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and these need to be on a non-stick tray. So that's why I had them on the silicone baking pan. And then you're going to cook them in the oven for about six, six to seven hours. I looked in at six hours and I could still see some moisture in them so I did it another hour. They're going to be crisp like a cracker but you want to make sure not to cook them too long so that they don't lose their color. So this is all still part of the first layer. I put in a tiny bit of clear resin first and then I waited for all the bubbles to come up, popped the bubbles and I think that's when I used too much heat so be careful using torches in silicone molds. And so after I did that really thin layer of clear, popped the bubbles, I put the oranges in and then I put more resin around it with the gold leaf and then I let them sit for 24 hours and I didn't show you guys the second layer because all it was was clear resin, there was absolutely nothing in it and all I did was fill up the rest of the molds. And then 24 hours later I came back and I used gloves when I demolded these because they're super clear and I didn't want to get fingerprints all over them so I demolded them with gloves and then I painted on the gold gilding edge and it already has two layers of gilding paint on it when I show it to you guys in the video and I will probably do another layer before um, they get sold or somebody buys them I'll go ahead and do another layer before because in the clip of you seeing them, you're going to kind of see that even in some light still, it, you can still see through the gilding paint. If you guys know of a pen that um, works really well that you can't see through and doesn't need a ton of layers, definitely let me know in the description below. So here they are completely done and I'm still using the gloves just because I didn't want to get fingerprints all over them while showing them to you. And I wanted to let you guys know that I didn't do anything to these orange peels. Like I didn't spray them with a sealer or anything like that. All I did was bake them and then put them directly into the resin. And they look more orange now in the resin than they did after I baked them. And I want to say it's been about a week since I sealed these into the resin. And I haven't seen any color change or anything like that yet. I've never put a fruit in resin before so we will see how it goes. I'll make sure and update you guys if they do lose their color. So these bubbles here are the back side um, from where I put them in and I'm really not mad at the bubbles. I think it looks really cool in the oranges actually. If you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more artwork. And let me know in the comments what fruit you guys want to see dried next because I definitely want to dry more fruit for resin. Also, 
these pieces are $20 on my website and I have free shipping right now. So if you guys are looking for a late Mother's Day gift, make sure and check out my website. It's going to be linked in the description below and I have free shipping on everything right now. And let me know what you guys think of these coasters and do you guys like the regular side or how do you feel about the bubbles in them? Because I actually really love it. This is like probably one of my favorite pictures right here. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your support, and I will catch you all later. Bye.